Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 263. Check if numbers are ascending in a sentence. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, anything in between. And yeah, there are a lot of people uh, in this contest on my Discord now, and they're just chatting, and it's kind of fun. Uh, and in fact, a couple of people beat me. So, so that may come and hang out. Uh, we'll chat about it. Anyway, for this problem, it's just a straightened parsing problem. Um, it is a easy, so you have to keep that in mind that you can just have to be careful. Um, like, it, it, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything that I would have to say that is like, oh, wow, there's no, nothing like, I don't think there's any observation that's super insightful. You just have to be careful. That's the insight, maybe. Um, I'll go over my code, which is that, yeah, basically, I just get all the numbers out of the, out of the sentence. This is how I did it. I split um, tokenizes it uh, to the spaces. And then for each of them, if it's a if it's a number, if it's a foldier number, then I convert it into a word. Uh, sorry, into a, a number in an integer number. And then we look at two adjacent numbers, and and yeah, just make sure that it's strictly increasing. I think the one case that people might kind of make a silly mistake because I was thinking about it, I might have almost done it, is kind of uh, making sure that these are integers. Um, because if you do like a string comparison, you may have something like, and you might not even think about it and get it right by accident if you do it another way. But if, for example, you have one, um, or let's just say uh, one, two, th uh, one, two, three, maybe, you know, is uh, is less than, say, 19, right? So if you have something like this and you only do a comparison by the string or sorting by the string, um, this is going to give you a wrong answer. So so basically, that's the only thing that I would have double-checked and look, uh, look to fix. Um, yeah, because I don't think that's a case that... Um, yeah, I don't think that's a case that would have shown up in these test cases. Actually, no, that's not true. I think this one would have got you. So maybe I'm wrong about it. But these are the things that I didn't really look at. I didn't look at the test case, maybe. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I stopped it in about a minute. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. This is going to be linear time because this goes through the way once. This goes through the way again. Uh, the way that I did it is technically linear space. Technically and actually linear space because I construct, you know, things in a linear kind of way, but, 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 you can do it in constant space if you're just really careful and parse it word by word, uh, and, you know, keep track of the previous number, and then just keep on checking it that way. If you did it that way, you could, uh, with basically a one-pointer algorithm, or something like that, if you want to call it that, then you can do it in constant space. And definitely try doing it at home, uh, if you want to kind of challenge yourself a little bit. Uh, that's all I have for the explanation. You could watch me solve it live during the contest next. Uh, yeah, hey, thanks for thanks for watching it up to now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, have a great time. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, talk about this problem, other problems, this contest, whatever you like to do. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to a good mental health. Have a great rest of the weekend, have a great rest of the week. Uh, we'll do the daily problems, we'll see you later, and I'll see, and bye-bye. <laughs>